Welcome to the Narrowboat that James built. I hope you're well. Thanks for joining me in a very, very wet Berkhamstead in January. There are some serious water issues going on in Berkhamstead at the moment. The CRT have closed this lock to replace the lock gates. So they are dealing with theirs. Now I better deal with mine. Oh dear. Needless to say, this is not how I wanted to spend the day, but I had a lot of what looked like urine to take out of my bilge. Right, that's about as much as I can do with the cup. Now, I need to see if I can hunt down Rob's keys and break into his boat and take his wet vac. Ah. Right, so I've got this plugged into my eco flow outside. Let's see if I've got this on the wrong suck as opposed to blow. So water in the build, there are three ways you get water in the build. Um, rainfall, so we've had like a biblical amount of rain. It seems to have been raining for like six weeks or something non-stop. So if I were to have any leaks on the boat, which I have three, um, then yeah, it would gather down there. Um, although it tends not to, it tends to pool a bit there and pool a bit there and pool a little bit in the bedroom. Um, and even when it's like torrential rain, it's never that bad. Um, a hole in the boat. So under the water line, there being a hole, um, yeah, there would be water there. I've had that before, hence the fact there isn't even an inspection hole there. Luckily, it's not a hole in the boat, so we don't have to worry about that. The third thing is a flood. Uh, a flood is 99.9% .9 of the times caused by a malfunctioning appliance or a leaky pipe or a faulty connection in the pipework somewhere. That's it. Um, I experienced the 0.01% of the time where it's a human error um, and for me it was because when I was filling up my water tank uh, I let it overflow and it went down the side of the tank straight into the bilge and ended up down there. Luckily it didn't go along the floor or soak anything under the bed so um, it's just the thing in you know the way it is uh, if you don't have an overflow pipe which again 99.9% .9 of boats have an overflow pipe so the way you know your tanks full is you see over the side of the boat it's spouting water uh, for me the way I know is it all gathers down there so next time I need to be a little bit more uh, prepared I did this one on my own usually Rob's outside and I'm basically looking at the tank um, but this time we had to move through because of all the closures happening in Bergman said because of all the leaky gates because of all the water retention problems So I created a water problem my own luckily now it's sorted however There's another one out there Okay, we're pretty dry in the build now, so that's okay But as I said place where my other water problem is out here and that is because the pram hood is nowhere near complete in fact not much has changed since you last saw it back in like middle of December and if there's ever a season to have this sorted it's now this oh just nothing's working basically um it's windy as heck i haven't had a gap in the weather to do the sides this side is on but only on by those so that's ugly however it's watertight the back's on that's watertight this side is on that's watertight however only when i'm not on the boat when i'm on the boat i can't get these things to clasp onto there inside the boat so it's only watertight when I'm not on it, so it looks like this is ridiculous. So I need to address that 
but ultimately it's been raining for like ever and the floor is pretty okay it's mucky as heck um but it's kind of 50 50 wet and dry i would say you know it's not too bad even with all the gaps so i would say pram hood is working i've had one or two issues where bits blew around a bit before i had that side on and as a result of which i've got quite a lot of water in my bilge that's the engine bilge um so i need to sort that out uh the boat's actually sitting a little low but i've got a lot of crap on the deck as well so i need to sort that out but anyway um my next job is to bring the dodger inside uh, which is this bit here this kind of lower part needs to come on the inside of that rail which is okay that's a job i can do when it's kind of like not totally hammering down with rain which i don't know give it a few weeks it might stop raining flooding it I'm trying to keep the boat as nice uh, environment as I can to be in um, it's just the weather outside I sort of keep going on about the weather but it's really horrible and it's such a stark contrast to how nice it is in the summer and like after doing that last video and seeing all the kind of capers that Rob and I got up to last year in the summer like this is like the towpath's just so muddy and boggy you end up bringing half it into the boat I used to have some mats, but I've left them at previous moorings. I've lost half my pins because every time I'm putting them in, they keep dropping in the cut because I'm soaking wet. Um, and I don't know, I'm really struggling this January. I don't often struggle with Januaries, but for this, for some reason, this one I am. Um, and I probably wouldn't have even moved the boat from Upper Berkhamstead if I didn't have to, but there were closures um, just behind me there, which we had to get through. Um, but there are more closures up ahead so we're going to have to get through them there's some at the uh, Winkwell and then some at Fisheries so we've got to get through them but the plan is to continue going south so um, we're not going to be in Berkhamstead for long I think we'll probably be off this weekend but whilst we're here um, Rob and I have been talking about like this year right we had such an epic one last year and um, you know, it's like many things you're never going to beat your first time of something it's always you know quite often it's the best um so we don't want to try again this year so we're probably going to go to the pub and sit down and have a few pints in the riser which is like a proper canal side boozer and have an idea about what we're going to do this year but it's not to try to better last year because we're just not going to be able to it's just to do things differently and in fairness even just going to that pub and having a few pints on a rainy Tuesday night is doing things differently we never really did that and with prices as they are these days that's a bit of a luxury but I'm going to make up for it by cooking him macaroni cheese which is a bit of a cheap one so that should be fine Should we go in for one? Yeah, let's go for a planning session. Come on then. It was heaving in here, but we managed to find a table near the window. Before London, yeah, yeah. So absent, we haven't done further with absent, so the best place after absent is King's Lane. And we're on the right side of the tow path. Bunton Bridge, <laughs> and then Grove, and then back to picnic spot for Easter, and then summer, Marsworth, and up there, yes, let's do that for the summer, and then we can holiday in Milton Keynes and do all the actor sports and stuff for the kids, and they've got like the cinemas and shit like that, and then come back to Burgos for autumn. <laughs> so after agreeing to do our summer holidays this year in Milton Keynes we then agreed that was a rubbish idea and that we should come up with a better one well, I've just left the pub that was very good come back to the boat for a nightcap and I remembered I've got Rob's Christmas present here 
not particularly well wrapped. And whilst I was wearing a pair of my own curtains, I gave Rob his Christmas present, which we both gave each other, leather windlass holders. I think he got delivered like on the 7th of Jan or something like that, so it was a bit late. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. See, all we need to do is go to the riser and come up with a plan. It's true. I can't believe you weren't satisfied though with Milton Keynes for some holiday. The St Pancras Cruising Club, I think it's yeah. called. Their annual Tower Bridge to Brentford cruise is happening in in August. There's also an add-ons you can do, and the add-ons is dun, 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 the barrier, Thames Barrier. Oh my word! Really? So yeah, you can go basically Limehouse, Thames Barrier, back to Limehouse, and then Limehouse to Brentford. So on your boat, not a problem. On this little thing, I'm not so sure. Was it thir 13 horsepower 50 years ago? Doesn't bode well, does it? Uh, I... Right, whiskey. I think she'd do it. Because we're going up, we're going up on a rising tide. Yeah. That wind is shit a brick. I mean, it's held on with stronger wind than this, it's not But it's you just never know. All it needs is the wrong dust in the wrong yeah. direction, it's all gone. Bloody weather. If it can't work out, then we go north. Okay. Okay, plan B is north. Plan A is Thames. Thames. Limehouse to Be to Brentford. If we're not going to be able to beat last year, that actually probably would. Yeah. Because it's the same thing but better and more and longer and better again. And, and just it's just Mastercard. It's money card. It is. It is proper Mastercard. That is. Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. Westminster Bridge. Yeah. Albert Bridge. Yeah. Underneath Putney Bridge, past my old rowing club. Going all the way up underneath Hammersmith Bridge. Yeah. Barnes. Barnes Bridge. Chiswick. Yeah. Into Kew. Into Brentford. Turn right. I've been sorting out underneath my bed, hence the fact that everything is behind me. I'm moored on like a bend, and every, like, do you hear that? The side of the boat is, there's fenders on both sides, but the apex of the bend is hitting this side here, and it's literally just there. And it is, the steel of the boat is grinding on the concrete, and then it bashes against it. Hear that? Bloody hell, hear that? Whoa. Hear that? So, after sleeping next to what sounded like a giant grinding its teeth, I managed to move a fender slightly to stop it happening again. I don't believe it. Oh my word, check this out. Just there. That is blue sky. Well, even though the weather outside is quite nice, uh, for the moment, we are expecting quite strong winds over the next few days, so, what I need to do is I need to, well, I've secured some of this one along there now with some uh, cable ties. So I think this one's a little bit more secure now. Uh, what I want to do is bring the dodger inside because that will stop it flapping around so much. So, uh, yeah, that's the next step. All right, I've taken the dodger off. It's quite nice like this. I haven't looked 
out the doors onto the cut for ages. What I therefore really want it to be is quite easy for it to come off. So I think obviously if it's on the inside then that'll be obviously much easier. Okay, so I've put one button on the inside there. I've kept it the same, so obviously I've still got these eyelet holes, which I'm, I'm fine with. I'll, you know, I'll redo it at some point, but for the moment, I just want to get these all in. When that's ironed, that's going to look pretty decent. I quite like the Dodger on the inside of the frame, but I need to take a break now because the girls are in their way. So I got the fire lit and I need to kind of get the boat all nice and prepared for them. We're just going to have the weekend together. I'm therefore not moving the boat, but time to play some games and eat some nice healthy food and go for walks and things like that. Who would like a party we ring? A party a ring? Day. Biscuit. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. We're going out for a walk in a minute, girls, all right? Okay, thanks. Okay, cool. Okay, good girl. I know. Party ring. Excellent. Nutrition sorted. Me and the girls go for a little walk, and this is the pound directly behind my boat. As you can see, it is bone dry. I know the water levels in Berkhamsted aren't the greatest, but this um, is a major worry for me because any movement in the lock below me, the water can't be replaced because there's nothing here. Whilst I thought about that, my car gave me something else to worry about. paraded through the streets of Berkhamsted by the AA. Broken down again. And this time I think it's fatal. So, um, yeah, they're towing me back to the boat. Trying to explain where I live to the AA is always quite interesting. Anyway, so they're towing me back to the boat now and then, uh, have to go shopping tonight and get another bloody car. Oh, what a nightmare. It's been really nice having the girls on board for the last couple of days. Um, it's been a really weird few weeks. Um, you'll see all the stuff out on the deck. A lot of that was, it's all been put away now. So is the stuff at the back of the bed. So the boat's kind of all decent again. Um, but it's been a bit topsy-turvy because... Um, there's loads of stuff that are stalling from what is now the old house. So it's all been a bit up and down for them and for me. So, um, and it's just, I don't know, this I sort of harp on about the weather again, but it really hasn't helped it being out in the cut at the moment. I think we're just about to experience like a cold snap. So it's going to go down to like minus five tonight or something. I mean, it's tight. It's nice and toasty on board. It's lovely, but... Yeah, it's not easy, um, this way of life. Um, and um, yeah, I guess last last winter I was on the hard standing, so I haven't really experienced this kind of really, kind of all the tow pass and all the drizzle and stuff. But the pram hood drizzle wise is good. It's only when it's like monsoon wise, that's when it kind of lets me down a bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring the Dodger back on the inside because um, it doesn't bow correctly with the shape of the boat. So um, it could do if I cut it into three bits, but then that's a right faff, so I won't bother. I'll put it back on the outside. Just got to work out a way of buttoning it so that the upper bits kind of overhang. So yeah, I just got to kind of look at that a bit. I might have to recut it. I think I've got some more material left. But yeah, the boat fared really well with the girls, which is nice. Um, although as well as getting needing to get a new sodding car, uh, the other thing which I've been thinking about for some time now, but having the girls on board this weekend kind of really um, 
kind of clarified my position on it. Um, I need more space. Um, so I don't really want a new boat. Um, I don't really want, you know, to get rid of this. I'd like another one, um, ideally. I, I, well, I mean, I'd say I'd like one. I've got not a pot to piss in and now the car's gonna take whatever there is in that. But um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking longer term, or well, however long I've got, the twins turn 10 tomorrow. So I, it's gonna get to a point where this is just too small for everyone and I'm kind of starting to feel that now. Um, and the girls are only small, so yeah, there's gonna be an interesting year. So I got kind of quite a lot on my mind and stuff, but you know, having Rob here and just sharing the sharing the load with him, I think he's gone through three cars in two in in one year as well. So um, it's not like he is it plain sailing, even though he's got that floating palace. Um, it's but you know just kind of yeah, we're just you know we're a whole community here, but certainly Rob and I. Um, we kind of it, it is it is great being able to share everything like the, the lows as much as we've shared all the highs these are some of the lows that we're sharing at the moment and it's great to have someone to share it with so but I'm fully aware that January is a time that everyone feels pretty low and rough so and I know this weather hasn't helped anyone so I hope you're all feeling kind of as tickety-boo as you can do at this uh, particular time of year and um, for me I've got a crack on with the pram hood uh, we've got to move the boats as well so um, we've got to get through fisheries by the end of January because that closes for a month and then that's it. We basically can't be back in Berkhamsted for a while, which to be honest, I think Rob and I are done with Berko now for a while anyway. So that serves our purpose. We need to get down to Watford. So that'll be the plan. We've got to move probably next weekend now. Um, we've got the bad weather and potential snow and ice coming in between then. So more fun and games on the canals. Hope you guys are very well. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.